Hey, this is Tom from Wine Valley Woodworks, and today I'm going to show you how I build your cutting board. I made a video similar to this about a year ago when I was just starting my business, and since then my business has grown, been able to purchase better tools and improve my processes just that much more. Without further ado, let's get building. Now I'm about to rip these boards on the table saw, and it's really important that after I make those rips, I keep every single board together and oriented. That's how I get my book match. It's a really important step. Big pile of boards, they're all ripped and they're all oriented. That's the most important part of this whole thing. Now I'm gonna show you how to get my book match pattern. I take my top board, oriented, flip it. Now you can see the grains here, they're all oriented, they're book matched like so. Take your next pile right here, book match it. Make, it, make sure you keep flipping opposite of each other. So keep that book match pattern. Book match starts on the inside and goes all the way out. Row by row. I have one edge of the board that's cut at a perfect 90 degree angle on the edge. Now I'm gonna make nine cuts, separate this board into 10 different spots, keeping the whole board oriented while I flip it to end grain. I'm gonna show you how I get the pattern I always get when I do this. My cuts were spot on. I'm super happy how this is turning out so far. Now this board is going to get shorter, but thicker. And I'm gonna show you how. So first of all, the board is book matched from inside to the outside. Now we're gonna book match every other row by flipping this board to end grain. Flip towards me, flip away. Towards me, flip away. Towards me, flip away, and so on. Now, before I glue this up, I'm gonna add dowels to secure every single row of this board together. That way, when you glue it up, it doesn't slide and you keep the joints perfectly in line. With my half inch dowel, Put it at the base, make a line, and I'm gonna double that length. The outline of this block is complete. Now we gotta dial in some details. We're gonna put some handles, juice screws, and gonna round out the edges, make this thing look really good before we get to sanding.
I'm really happy how this board is turning out. However, we still have a lot of work to go. We have a lot of sanding to do before we finish this board. So bear with me through this process. It'll be worth your time in the end, I promise. What I'm doing in between each sanding grid is I'm doing something called popping the grain. Now what that means is every time you sand the board, you spray it with water, that way it raises the grain so that every time you sand up to the next grid, it gets an even smoother finish. And I do that in between each grid up to 320 grit on the second round. All right, thanks for sticking around to the very end. If you wouldn't mind, please like, subscribe, and share this video with anyone you think might be interested in seeing this. It's free to do, and it helps my business tremendously. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. I'm happy to answer any questions you have. Till next time, take care.